present. So we are the Jaguars. We're so, so excited to be here presenting with you today. And as you heard before, we are really working hard at all of our schools and at Johns Creek on making sure that all of our students, staff, and families feel connected and belonging. So tonight we wanted to share with you guys a little bit about the things we're doing this year at Johns Creek and things we've done previously at Johns Creek to make sure everyone feels like they're part of the Johns Creek Jaguar family. So a little history of JCE. JCE's demographics have changed um, in the 17 years that we've been open. Um, in about 2014, our um, Caucasian and Asian population completely flipped and we became a majority minority school. In thinking about the first year we were open in 2008, our white population was about 75%, whereas now this year, about 74% of our population is Asian, which is mostly Indian and South Korean. And we talk a lot about Johns Creek. What better way can you learn about the world around you than from sitting in class, sitting in lunch, talking to students about what their cultures, traditions, and customs are? <coughs> So one of the things that we are so proud of that we have every year at Johns Creek is a Heritage Night, and this year will be year 15, that we've had such an amazing night to showcase all of the cultures and customs of our school. Usually we have anywhere from 10 to 15 countries represented. Our parents come in their native dress, they do crafts, they bring food from all of their cultures to share. They talk about the education system, how things are similar and different. And even during COVID times when we couldn't have an in-person event, we decided to make a Johns Creek cookbook from our kitchen to yours. So we did um, recipes where all families could submit recipes to share. So that's one of the exciting items we do every year, not only to recognize all the cultures and customs, but to celebrate it and as a community to learn more about those who are our neighbors and friends around us. Good evening, I'm Suzanne Pitts. I'm one of the assistant principals at Johns Creek and it's our pleasure to be here this evening. Um, tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about one initiative that we have um, undertaken to make sure that our students are represented um, in our building. And amazingly enough, when we started talking about doing this project, I thought I really knew our kids. And what we did is we compiled a survey of our families asking where they're, where they're from, what languages they speak, and about their cultures. And amazingly enough, we had a very high percentage of our families respond to the survey. Oftentimes, we're begging people to respond, but not in this case. They were responding um, in droves, and which made us very happy. We had um, over 57 countries that are represented in our school. And as you can see by our um, bulletin board, these are all of the countries that are represented, including countries that you might not expect, Hungary, Ethiopia, Sri Lanka, Peru, Estonia, Jordan, Egypt, even St. Kitts and Nevis, the Cherokee Nation. So while we thought we knew our demographics and our students really well, we didn't realize what we didn't know. Another interesting thing that came out of this project was hearing about the different languages that are spoken in the homes of our students. Languages, we have a total of 35 different languages that were reported. Some. Um, Arabic, Mandarin, Khmer, Swahili, Japanese, Urdu, Serbian, Nepalese, Punjabi, and Turkish, just to name a few. And so as you can see, this has become quite a, quite a hub in the mornings where kids like to come and see what, um, what, where their flag is. And we've had a couple since then rep request, hey, I didn't get to fill out the survey, but we're from here. Can you add that to it? So it's kind of a work in progress and an ongoing thing, but it's something that has really helped us as a leadership team know our students and families better, but it has also given our students representation in our building, which is very important. In addition to building this uh, display, we've also asked for information from the families on things that they felt were most important about um, their cultures. And we're able to share this information with our families in our monthly newsletter. And so it's kind of interesting. Even here, um, I learned things about the Chinese language being a tonal language, where the way the tone that you say a word changes its meaning, which is very different than in English. And so 
even still, we're continuing to learn more and more each day as this project continues. And we're having a great time sharing it with our community and making sure that everyone feels connected at Johns Creek Elementary. So. Good evening. I'm Kayla Fawcett, and I'm an assistant principal at Johns Creek Elementary. One of our other initiatives is the multilingual library. And this is something that we're so proud of because it really connects our students to their cultures. This is something that we were granted through our Education Foundation grant. We have already a, a little over 150 books that are in all of these languages that you see listed, Mandarin, Korean, Japanese, and we've also ordered more. So in the next few months, we hope to have over 200 books available for our students and our families in these additional languages that we've learned about through this survey. Here's some photographs of some of our students. You can see how it's organized in our media center. Our students take great pride in it, and our staff members take great pride in it. It's such a wonderful place for our students to feel like they're connected to each other. In addition, we have, through our own research and through the survey responses from our families, tried to learn more about the spices that are found in the most common recipes throughout the different cultures that are represented. And we were able to purchase these seeds so that we can grow them on campus at Johns Creek. Also through the Education Foundation grant, we have tower gardens. And so through our science specials, our students, kindergarten through fifth grade, get the opportunity to be a part of planting and growing these seeds. Um, the, our tower gardens will be housed in our cafeteria. So our students will see that on a regular basis and just continue with that pride knowing where those came from. Some of the seeds that we've purchased so far, holy basil, mint, coriander, cardamom, cilantro, and thyme, just to name a few. And as we end tonight, we want to thank you for your time. We also would love to invite you to our Heritage Night. That's going to be taking place on Friday, November the 3rd, from 6 to 8 p.m. at Johns Creek Elementary. Thank you. Thank you.